Hey guys and welcome to Sinoalis. Now this is a new game that just launched about four hours ago at the time of recording this. Now this game has an amazing reroll system, something that I think every game should introduce. It's just actually a fun reroll system that's not grindy at all. So in this video, we're going to go through how to reroll. It's very simple. Uh, what you might want to reroll for, um, and also we're just going to go into the actual summon pool after a reroll, just to show you the actual odds on everything, just so you know what you're getting into. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up, it's going to get you to choose your country. Me personally, I am in Australia, so we're going to have to go down here all the way to Oceania. Uh, it's like that, and then you're going to choose this. Uh, most people are going to want to go to the United States. Uh, in Australia, we normally have better um, ping to Asia servers, but everyone I know is going to play on United States, so that's where we're going to go and hit OK. Now, this is something to remember later on in the video. If you get a um, an account you want, then you're going to transfer the ID and transfer the social media. Basically, fast forward if we get the account we want we'll bind it either with an id or social media social media is more secure so i'd do that um and then if you just open this on a new device or you know you've cleared data and you've reset it this is how you bring your account across to play it on a different um, device after you've saved it so you don't have to do anything with anything with those at the initial startup you're going to bind it later and that's how you get to your account on a different device later on so we're going to hit okay it's going to take us through a basic little intro and it's going to do a bit of a download we're going to tap to start i think it's a pretty quick one you just got to agree to the terms it's a fairly fairly fast download this one and then we're going to get into it okay so the download just finished then it's going to give us this display here you're going to get these two puppets they're going to talk they're going to talk they're going to talk um, not really too stressed about what they say. <laughs> it's going to come up to here. This is going to give you a little preview of what's in the banner that we can summon on. Like I said, uh, later on in the video, we will show you everything that is in the banner that you can pull. So basically when you summon, you're going to be able to summon two main things. You're going to be able to summon weapons and you're going to be able to summon nightmares, which are summonable creatures. The nightmares are like a point. There's like three of them at like a 0.03% drop chance. We'll look at the exact rates later on, but they're really, really rare. Um, the other thing you've got is the weapons, and some of the weapons will actually give you these playable classes, which is, for instance, this one is Alice, Alice with the staff, and that's going to give her her class of the cleric, which is going to be a healer class. Um, you got the sorcerer here, but you, we'll get into that as we go. But what you're going to do is you're going to hit this, uh, gr I hate this word, Grimoire times 11. You're going to click it. You're going to drag this one down. The rope's going to come down. It's a really quick system. It's a fantastic reroll system. I absolutely love it. As you, you, You're going to want these white books. As you can see, this is an absolutely disgusting roll because we only got one white book. The most I saw was seven. Um, I've actually got an account that I'm playing now. I'll probably keep rerolling on the side just for fun. I do enjoy rerolling when it's easy. Um, and there you go. That's going to be an SR. So that's the highest rarity you can summon. You've got A, S, and then SR. That's going to be an orb. All the different weapons have different stuff. We'll cover that in a later video there's lots of people who've made videos covering this stuff as well that you can check out so that's going to be an orb because we only got one good one we, we don't want that and literally all you're going to do is hit that button on the left and it restarts the, the initial pull there's no reinstalling the game there's no deleting the dot there's nothing it's just you keep pulling until you get a pull that you like this one we've got four so we're going to click we're going to click open all again and see how we go an S, an S, an SR. I really want to get one that gets a hero. We'll do one more. But if you get a uh, a, a weapon that does unlock a class, it is going to drop. It's going to come up with the hero, uh, not just the weapon. So that's when you know you unlock a class when the actual hero comes up, not just the weapon. Um, if we look here, we'll see if we can get one. If not, I'll cut and come back once we do get one of those. All right, we'll be back once I get a drop with the hero. Okay, so this is what you're going to get when you summon a class. As you can see, it's Gretel the Minstrel. Um, now, Minstrel means she's a musician, and what they do is buff your allies uh, with the musical instruments. Uh, so that unlocks that class, which basically means it. Uh, I kind of look at it as like a character that you can play as. Now, Gretel can also be um, a gunner, and she can use bows and stuff like that. But because we unlocked the Minstrel version of her, that is what we got. So when we upgrade this class, it's going to give her more Minstrel specific 
upgrades and that's pretty much the the basics of that so we unlocked her that took me about 10 11 minutes of re-rolling um, to get that one to drop now on the account that I've actually kept and I'm gonna keep going with unless I manage to in the next few days get a better one and the one I managed to get was I got an Alice um, with the staff so the the Alice healer and then I also got the I think it was the Pinocchio sorcerer um, which the Pinocchio is only an S1 um, but I still got those two and I was just pretty happy to roll with that um, and that's pretty much it so that's where that's what I kept so I went for two classes unlocked um you can go for one if you want we'll have a look at the the draw list anyway but that's what it's going to look like and then it's also going to show you that weapon that, that you unlocked at the same time and then we can go here we unlock the last couple of those and like i said if you can get two classes unlocked that's pretty premium i'm not going to show you what it looks like to get a um a nightmare which are the summonable creatures just because after two and a half hours of re-rolling on my phone to get the, the account that I play that I'm playing on um, I never saw a single nightmare so to me if I ever saw a nightmare I'd probably just keep that account because I feel like those things are rare as hen's teeth at like a 0.03% drop chance so say this is the one we want to collect we're just going to hit ok and then it's going to take us to this they're going to talk a little bit more uh, if they ever start there we go have to click it uh, it's going to ask you to enter your name so I'll just go Vulcan, enter, okay. And there's no, because I've already got another account called uh, called Vulcan. It doesn't like, it doesn't, it's not It's not limited to one person per name. So, you know, if, if you get one and you're like, this is one I might use, uh, you can name it your actual name. Um, you can get a code for it and then you can, you know, you can come back to it later. Um, so they're going to do this introduction thing. Uh, I'll probably... Yeah, we'll, pr we'll probably just skip this. I can't remember how long this took. Oh, no, it's not too long. Uh, downloading. We will skip it. I'll be right back. Okay, the downloading is done. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit OK. And then they're going to drag us into the game. Now, it gives you a bit of story. I'm, I'm one of those guys that always skips it. If like I get really into the game, I'll go back and look at the story. I just... I, I know vaguely what it's about. It's like they're all the, the fairy tale characters and they're trying to revive their authors or something and they have to kill each other. I, I'm really not too across it. it, it it's a warped storyline. Now, it's going to take you into this. It doesn't matter which one you choose because eventually you'll unlock them all. Um, so we'll just go ahead and collect the Alice Breaker. Okay. Looks pretty cool. It's going to give you that. And basically all we're trying to get to is through the tutorial, skip all this stuff skip that so that you can get to the binding account part so now they're going to give you a bit more of a tutorial which we'll just click through and get through that it's going to go through this purification thing um which is you're just going to click and drag and delete all these things this purification is what you can do to restore basically your stamina or ap is what they call it so you're going to ooh, i haven't done this with a mouse here before <laughs> it's easier with your finger so just click drag around and, and kill them all um and yeah basically the highest score you get when you do this um you're going to get more energy from it or ap as they call it wow this is really hard with the mouse <laughs> uh, uh, there we go got him sweet uh you click you do your ultimate destroy that wave move on to the next wave and do the clicks again it's actually a fun little mini game that you'd like <laughs> you start trying to get really good at it but i really suck with the mouse anyway eight seconds left let's get the rest of them it's definitely easier to drag than to click i tried clicking but it doesn't really work as well dragging is the way to go wow i didn't do too well on that one but anyway i got 56 normally i get around 65 to 70. uh we hit okay sweet done uh and then it's going to bring us to this as you can see the purification our, our ap is in the top right corner so it just it just fills that up a bit um so now what you can do is if you really like your account you can go to data transfer so uh let's go back here first you went to the menu down the bottom right go to data transfer down here and then you hit agree it just this is basically a warning that says if you buy paid currency on it um, on iOS or Android and you try and swap over to the opposite iOS or Android it's gonna convert that paid currency because there's two separates into um, like non-paid currency so you won't be able to use it for the premium purchases I'm pretty sure that's how it works so you just got to agree to that try and stick to one type of device now there's two ways you can do it you can jot down this ID this ID number or copy or like 
put it, save it on your computer somewhere with a password that you create. You can save that on a file and then you go, okay, what I normally do in games like this is I write down the code of the password and then I write down what's on that account so that I know like once and once I do a hundred re-rolls and I've got like 30 different accounts to choose from then I can go okay I want that one so that's pretty much that well that's for once you've got the account that you are 100% sold on you're going to go ahead and bind it with Twitter Facebook or Google that's the most secure way to bind it you can still do the ID thing but I, I just go ahead and bind it with most people probably can do Facebook or Google um, just to make sure you've got it bound and then like I said at the start of the video, when you open up that menu at the very, very start, then you're just going to transfer the account and that is how you do that. So now I want to look at, if we go over here to the Grimoire, I think they're going to do a little a talk to us here and just talk some smack to us about the drops and stuff like that. And then we're just going to close that. But what we can go here is click the appearance rates. So this is what I was talking about when you're going to see um, what you get. So let's go here. And as you can see, these are the rates, appearance of SR weapons. So you've got the Staff of Bondage, which is going to be um, the Alice Staff. Uh, you've got the Blade of Depravity, and then you've also got the Fiddle of Delusion, which is the one we end up, ended up with. So that, those are those ones. And then you're going to go down here, all the way down here, appearance of SR Nightmares. This is what I was talking about before. They've got a 0.034% drop chance very 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 low um, and then you also have these s weapon that also unlock classes so you can get that i think that one's the pinocchio uh, with the tome and that's another staff which i wouldn't have mind getting like i would have on my ideal reroll i would have rather to get um the alice with the staff and the, the other staff as well but hey you take what you can get um up to you on how long you want to reroll like i said if you get one that you think is decent and you might want to keep it you can just jot down that code and the password write what's on it keep re-rolling and then if you get sick of re-rolling and you want to go back to that account you've got it there you can just jump on it and then you can keep playing and that's pretty much all there is to it but these are the drop rates like i said the sr nightmares are very very low drop rates um, and that's about it. If you want to get an idea of what the, the, they look like, you can go over here to the the codex here. And we can go to nightmares. And these are the kind of thing, like I said, that they're all like creatures that are summonable. Um, but there's only three of them in there. I can't pick exactly which three they are off the top of my head because uh, we can't actually get that. But that is the basic gist of what you're getting. Well, they all say they're SRs, so maybe that guy looks wicked. I want to get some of these guys, but um, I didn't play the Japanese version, so I'm not a complete expert on everything, but I'll learn as much as I can. Um, the one other thing I wanted to mention, if you hear people talking about jobs, and you hear people talking about jobs a lot in pre-global content, um, and like written and video, jobs are basically what are classes. So classes is what the Japanese translation was for. Um, yeah, they, they called it jobs instead of classes. Pretty much it. But anyway, that is going to be it for this guide, guys. Uh, let me know how you go with your rerolls if you get something good. But thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.